Hello everybody, so in this video I'm going to give you 8 tips for healthy eating and we all try our best. It's always good if we share some tips. I am not perfect, so what I say is not law. Every body, <laughs> every single body, every single uh, being is different. So yeah, I'm just gonna give some tips. You can take them, you cannot, it's your choice. The first thing is that balance is key. Don't eat too much of anything. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like the basic rule. Even sometimes if you drink too much water, it can be bad for you, so you know. And also eat something, so don't just go days without eating and then uh, one day you eat too much, like it won't be good for you, your stomach will not find it very pleasing. <laughs> I don't know what kind of body you have, but um, I, for me, I like eating like small portions during the day, so yeah. The second thing is to drink a lot of water, to drink juice, preferably natural, of course, like uh, fruit juices, fruit juices and teas, drink a lot of it, not too much, like I said before, like, you know, a balance is key, and uh, it does not replace a meal, like, drinks do not replace a meal. The third thing is to learn new recipes. It will help you eating at home. It will it will help you liking um, homemade food. Some people are, sometimes think they they can't cook, but sometimes you just haven't learned the right recipe and you haven't learned the right kind of food that you will want to eat uh, on your day to day. The fourth thing is be active. Like this is not really a tip for healthy eating, but it's included like. Uh, if you eat healthy, but you still you have like the worst lifestyle, like you do basically don't get up, you don't do anything, like it's not there's no point on it. Actually, eating healthy, you will end up uh, still not being healthy. It's just for show, you know. You just will be saying to people, or you just be thinking that you eat healthy, but then you don't move. Yeah, be active, be active. Also, be active to cook, like <laughs> be active in general. The fifth thing is to cut some sugar off. I'm not saying to cut all sugar off, like that's very much, you know, not bearable for some people, you know, like we are, but we are addicted to sugar. So if you have to stop eating sugar, you do you, but at least cut some sugar off. You'll have less headaches, you will sleep better. The sixth thing is to keep eating your cravings. Just because you eat your cravings doesn't mean you have to eat a dozen do donuts because you uh, are feeling like eating donuts just eat one or two and that's it. It's better if you eat your cravings and uh, then just decide you want to eat you will eat things that you don't like and then you s will still keep that craving you might as well just satisfy your craving and go on with your day. At the end you have no more self-control and you still want to eat that donut and you will be miserable if you don't so what's the point? Seventh thing is to increase your protein intake but please keep eating carbs like carbs are essential for life unless you go on a keto diet which is debatable in terms of how healthy it is why are you cutting carbs like why are you n not cutting but like why not eating carbs why you need energy, your body needs energy, like, you know, like, carbohydrates are energy. If you don't eat it, you won't have it, like, come on. This is basic science, you can actually <laughs> check this, I don't need to be telling you this, like, but still increase a bit of your protein, if you have to lower your carbs a bit, do it, but don't uh, just take them out. Most people, first of all, most people that eat keto, will stop eating keto and uh, what's the point of you eating keto before if you're just going to go back to like what you were if you're just gonna end up wake up on them and be like I am done not eating what I like I'm done not eating bread I am not I'm done not eating sweets I am just done and then what what was keto about just for show just another diet you decided to make that <laughs> didn't work out like Eat normal, eat normal food, bread, carbs in general, 
are not the enemy. The eighth thing is to cut on alcohol. Alcohol is not good for you, like in general it's not good for you and also it uh, has calories. Unless you ju just drink hard liquor, alcohol has calories. Like if you drink a beer, if you drink a cocktail, you know what I mean? Like I'm not talking about uh, if you just drink a shot of vodka, that that does have calories, but it's not uh, like it's not as much as if you drink a beer or whatever. But you know, just cut on alcohol. Just cut on it. Don't need to stop drinking it, unless you're not, you're an alcoholic. Uh, in that way, you should really stop drinking it. But just cut it a little bit because sometimes people think they are not. Uh, going to gain weight, they think they are on the right track for losing weight or for whatever goals they have, and alcohol is just putting a stop to that because they don't count the calories on alcohol. Like, yes, you can still drink alcohol, yes, calories are not that important, but what's the point on drinking alcohol every single day or like every two to two days or even every weekend? Like, if you feel like drinking a glass of wine, if you feel like drinking your beer, do it. But moderation, moderation is key, balance is key. It was the first rule and I'm going to end this video saying the same, which is balance is key. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you like and I hope you subscribe. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye bye!